Anyway, welcome to a new Nashville Masters class. Today, first rushes, my first time using a needle. Ah, I want to hear in the comments, I don't care how old this video is, your first time injecting, feeling that rush. I really want to get a sense of um, the different ways people perceive this. Um, their introduction, the, when they first said, now this is how I want to feel for the rest of my life. And then thus began, began your addiction journey. So mine started uh, 1998, the summer of... No, 97. It was 97. The summer of uh, Birmingham, Alabama. I had already been doing things, you know, going to raves, taking acid, ecstasy, mostly acid. Acid and cocaine were my big things. But I had this friend, Charles, who was a little bit older now. Charles was a little whacked in the head. He was charged for murder a few years later. And I, I'm 99% sure he did it. Why? Because he told me before he did it that he was going to do it right after he did it, how he did it. And then he was charged. And then his mom called me looking for him because he had skipped out on court because he knew he was guilty. And she had put up her house for his bond. But anyway, on this day, um, Charles had already been doing um, Dilaudid. We called them K-4s. Um, back then, heroin was really hard to find around Birmingham. There's only certain people that knew the biggest thing was Dilaudid because I think there are some guys that knew someone that worked at the um, pharmaceutical company and they were getting these things almost cheap, so they blocked out and choked the heroin supply um, so that they would be selling all their pills. Well, that was pushed aside somewhere in the mid-2000s, but anyway. So he had no car. He was on the streets, and he was begging me to drive him around and help him get some. So I was like, okay. So I'm driving this guy around. He's trying everything. He had a little bit of money. I was like, look, if I do this, you're going to get me a shot too because I was curious. We happened upon um, this girl at the Shell Station uh, in Southside. Um, forget the name of the street. I'll add it in later if I remember it. It's really, really well known there. Anyway... So he runs into this girl, and she's like, yeah, I got something. He's all excited, so he's like, come on. Now, right behind the shell were these big towers, which are named after the road. I will figure out later. So we go, and you got to realize, Birmingham, Southside, Birmingham, downtown Birmingham is in the valley, and Southside's up on this mountain. Birmingham kind of like lives underneath this constant wave, like the mountain is a wave. You got the city right here, and the mountain is right there. It's not far off miles in the distance. It's literally less than a quarter of a mile away, and this mountain's up high, and you have all these houses and buildings on the side. So any tower-like building, and there's a lot on the side, you get this amazing panoramic view. So we go up there, and there's this guy had long, stringy hair and glasses. He's like, "Who the hell are these?" Yeah, she's like, "Don't, don't listen to him. He's just strung out." And she takes out this mason jar. <laughs> this mason jar was—I've never seen anything like it since. It was filled with liquid injectable morphine that she had um, diverted from a hospital. Oh my God. Charge $10 for a shot. I've never found anything like this again in my life. And I really tried. But the guy, he takes his rig and he puts it in. The morphine pulls it up once, shoots himself. Puts it back in the morphine, pulls it out again, shoots himself again. Does it a third time and finally nods. He's like, 
sorry about that, guys. Just sick. And Charlie, like, that's okay, man. He gives her the money and gets his. Uh, he got. I, I want to pay for him too. So she. They had. Um, they had Riggs needles there. So she took one, pulled up the morphine, and the guy's like, "Let me guess. You've never done this before." I was like, "No, this is my first time." I was like, Jesus God. He sits me on the bed because I was young. I was only seventeen. I I wouldn't have done this if I had been him. He's like, well, my name's John, and I'll get this done for you. So he ties me off. And since this is my first time on people like this, I looked away. I didn't want to see this needle go into my arm. So I did it, and he's done. He pulls it out. He goes, now take off the thing. I'm like, what? He goes, God damn it. He takes off the tourniquet. And he's like, here, go throw this away. He get, puts the cat back on the needle and gives it to me. I get up, and I walk to a trash can. Halfway there. It hits me. It felt like someone had reached inside me with this warm, warm hand and started pulling everything down. I felt gravity push or pull me to the ground. And it felt so good. Now, I didn't collapse. I straightened myself up because I've been doing drugs for a while. I knew not to be stupid and fall out in someone's living room i threw it away and i don't remember much else uh, charles was yapping he's like if it starts weighing down you can just take a hit of a bowl and it'll come back that's all i remember because i got the hell out of my car i think i went to a mall i remember i went to my girlfriend and she knew something was up sandra knew she looked at me and she's like what have you done now, I didn't know this, but a few weeks after this, my parents came in talking about, so we hear you've been doing cocaine and other drugs. I never know, knew who told them until about 2014 when I, ran, I, I me and Sandra met up. I can't remember. We're somewhere in Birmingham. And she told me that it had been her who tattled on me. And so I was like, well, my parents, she, she didn't come from a good home. His dad was an ass. My parents actually said we'd like Sandra to come stay. But even being young, I realized that as beautiful as she was, she annoyed me. And I was like, no, no, I'm not bringing her here. My parents were like, what? You, you don't want her? She can come stay, live in your room. I was like, mm-mm. So I got to tell her that, and she's like, you, you mean I could have moved out from my dad's and had a nice place to live? I was like, yeah, you could have. Maybe you shouldn't have said anything about drugs, because that was one of the real reasons I started rebelling against everything. So anyway, there you have it. I want to hear any and everybody's first time um, injecting, or if you never did, the first time you took a substance, and you said, now this is how I want to feel for the rest of my life. Like this, dislike it, whatever, do whatever, but please leave a comment. And I guess you can subscribe. I want to keep pushing crap like this in your face for years to come. Um, I hope you guys have a good day, and we will continue on with our shenanigans. Later.